uh, go through what I did with my Raspberry Pi. Uh, picked up a case pretty cheap for it. I stuck that in there, running the default version of uh, Wheezy. And what I wanted to do with this one, my first project anyway, is uh, I picked up some, I picked up a Cisco Pix uh, and Cisco Switch and a Cisco Router. I wanted to be able to actually uh, get to the console of all three of the devices without having to go in and hook up a laptop or a desktop and switch the cables around. Could call it a hub. Um, so that has three devices. I've got three Cisco devices. So this will, this I'm able to use the one port, one USB port. Connect in my serial to USB converter cable. Now this one uses its 2302 driver or chipset in it, which the default uh, Wheezy recognizes. The distribution on the Raspberry Pi recognizes the chipset on this um, so I don't have to load any additional drivers to actually get this converter to work. And the blue cable here, the blue is obviously, uh, well maybe not obviously, but the blue cable is a Cisco console cable. So that plugs right into the Cisco device. So my plan, I just tried it out with one adapter so far, but I want to hook up all three of these devices. So when I SSH into my Raspberry Pi, because I'm going to run this headless, so I'll SSH over into this one there. Then as soon as I get on the device, I will uh, jump into Kermit, connect to whichever port I, uh, I run Kermit to connect into, and that'll allow me to go in and modify the config on each one of the devices. So this is basically what it is, is a poor man's Cisco console server. Instead of having to go out and buy a Cisco router like 2911 or something like that, buy the module, buy the cables in order just to go in and uh, make a console server, Raspberry Pi will do it. The biggest expense is going to be these adapters and I have to make sure I get the proper chipset in them. If you buy them online, they're a lot cheaper, but the biggest thing is just to make sure the chipset is the correct one. Uh, so I have to pick up two more of those and I will go online and purchase them because I uh, should be able to get them for under 10 bucks. Um, but next step I'll go through, I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what I did, what I loaded up, um, I had to load up Kermit and the other steps that I did to uh, get this connecting into the Cisco. Okay, so the first thing I had to do here, uh, we go in sudo apt get and we want to install Kermit. So sudo apt get install ckermit. This will go out. So you have to be connected to the internet as well. So it was connected to the internet. It went out, grabbed the file, downloaded, and it is going to install. Going through configuring the packages. This takes a second or two just to go through this portion of it. Maybe more than a second or two. It takes about a minute, I guess. Okay, here we go. It'll do its setup here. Okay, so we're back. Next thing. We want to just check to see the USB, make sure it actually sees the, the converter. You'll see down on the bottom there, the 2303 Polyphic Technologies. That is the serial to USB converter that I'm using to connect in. So you want to make sure you see that there. Now I want to find out 
what port it's actually on. So we go in we, under dmessage, pipe it to grep, look for the 2303, because that's the chipset in there. You'll see where it, the machine found the device, and it tells you it's actually attached to TTY USB 0. So our next step is we want to launch Kermit. And we want to connect it to dev TTY USB 0. So Kermit will launch up, and that will be the port that it connects to. There we are. So next step, we want to go in, and under Kermit, you type connect. This will actually connect you to the device. And actually, sorry, we back up a little bit. The set carrier watch off. You have to actually turn that off and then do the connect again. There is an option that you can set up a, uh, a config file, so anytime you go into Kermit, it will not, you won't have to type that in. But you can see here now, after doing a connect, I am connected into my PIX firewall. So once I get the other two adapters, I'll go in, I'll do the same thing, and those might be, when they connect up, they might go through TTY USB 1, Two, um, hard to say. So uh, right here you see I'm trying to get back out of the firewall and what you have to do is hold down the control, hit the backslash, and then hit C. It brings you back into Kermit and then you type exit and it will bring you back to the Raspberry Pi. It closes out the port. And that's all you have to do to get connected. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.